You look cozy. Hey there. <laughs> I feel over the moon. This man makes me feel so good, and I can be totally myself with him. It's crazy. I mean, I, I can't imagine not falling in love with him. I told you it was a fairy tale. Yeah, oh, you so, like, <laughs> like a prince? We're going to start our fairy tale right out here. Oh, gosh. I've never been on one of these. Every time I'm with him, I get closer and closer to thinking about our future together. I want everything with him. I don't want it to end. And I want to make sure that he knows everything about me. <gasps> oh, we're strong, Karen. Mm -hmm. I realize that you can't go any day without experiencing life to the fullest. And I'm excited to start a new level with him. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> Is it, is it a nice castle? Oh, it's a nice castle. Oh my god. That was built just for us. <gasps> Are you serious? Yep. Oh my gosh. This is so <laughs> cool. Isn't it? An ice castle built for us. <gasps> <laughs> it was spectacular. Catherine and I are sitting in this insane ice castle, just surrounded by ice. <laughs> <laughs> it's lightly snowing. I mean, this is one of the most romantic settings I've ever been in. I'm so comfortable with you. I know. You know, it's, sometimes it just clicks, mm -hmm. and it just clicks with you. I like that. So, what do I not know about you? Oh, gosh. I want Sean to know tonight the reason why I am the way that I am. I've been through a lot in my life and it's really shaped the way that I've lived my life. So I hope he takes it well. I know you've seen like goofy sides of me, but you know, I wanted to show you more of, you know, the serious sides of me and what I want in life. And one thing that's been like really important to me and that has helped me shape my life is a very traumatic experience at 12. And- What happened? Um, so I was 12. <clears throat> and my best friend and I went to summer camp. And I was, it was the third day of summer camp. We were walking back and this trail was really narrow. And so this girl, Kelly, very sweet girl, walked in front of me. And about, I don't know, 100 feet into this trail, we hear this crack. And it's a tree falling. And it fell on the girl in front of me and killed her instantly. And um, at 12 years old, I realized that things can be taken from you very quickly. And I learned very, very early, like what my biggest goal in life was, was to like be in love and have a family and have a partner for life. Yeah. So that's, I think why I'm here is because I knew going into this that you wanted that too. That's why I want to be with you, is because I know that we could be great. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so grateful to have you here, and lucky. After hearing Catherine's story, she doesn't take life for granted, and she knows how easily life can be taken from you, so she wants to cherish each day, and I really respect that outlook. <laughs> Catherine's a combination of things. She's intelligent, she's funny, she's sexy, and I want her to know how incredibly special I think she is. And, you know, the rose is gonna say that for me. So, um, I want you to know how special I think you are and how incredibly unique you are. And I want you to know that I'm crazy about you. And I just, I can't get enough of you. And so, for that reason, Catherine, Will you accept this, Rose? Of course I will. Thank you. You're welcome. This rose means more to me than any rose that I've ever received. I opened up to him. I took a risk, and it was a really good reward. I am hopeful that Sean and I will find our happily ever after together. Last week was a rough week. I started doubting whether or not this was going to work for me. And now, with Catherine, my whole perspective has changed because of this one great date. <laughs> I can see myself with Catherine. 
Catherine has melted my heart. She has given me hope that things are gonna turn around here.